Welcome to BT Travel. I'm Sabrina, your Bajan tourist, here to guide you on all things Barbadian and vacation. Now, Barbados is known as the birthplace of rum, but did you know there are microbreweries on the island? Today, we are here at Dread Hop Brewing to learn all about the ales and lagers that they create. Dried Hop Brewing is Barbados' first artisanal craft brewery with a variety of beers ranging from ales, IPAs, lagers, and stouts. They seek to educate Barbadians and newcomers alike on the unique handcrafted brews which have been produced using the best quality hops and malts from around the world. So we're here with Matt, the master brewer at Dried Hop Brewing. Matt, tell us all about the amazing beers here at Dried Hop. Well, I must say they are quite amazing, actually. We have 10 different types of beers that we produce here, um, all of which are produced by grains and hops that come in from various countries over the world um, to produce that signature flavor that we love here. The yeast is very important for our brew. It gives that patented flavor for each of our brews, and a lot of it, everything comes down to the love we put into it and also the cleanliness in which we keep our place. We want it looking shiny. We're very, very much about cleanliness in our tanks and making sure that every time we brew, um, the beer comes out as clean as the last batch, which ultimately re uh, boils down, no pun intended, to a beautiful, <laughs> nice, crispy, clear-looking beer. The Red Hot Beery offers patrons the opportunity to take a tour of the factory and learn all about the process of making beer. What I found interesting is the small changes in the ingredient amounts and production results in a vast array of flavors. The temperature during each process is essential to the outcome of the beer. Essentially, it is the most important process next to the mashing stage. <laughs> the mashing stage is very important. It is temperature uh, coordinated. And if you don't get the temperatures right, you don't get the beer right. I could not believe that over 2,000 liters of beer was in each of these tanks fermenting to perfection. Um, essentially, after we've done our brew, um, the sugar water that we have collected from our grain will go into these fermenters, and what we do is we add yeast to them. And during that process, oxygen is also added so that we can actually activate the creation of alcohol. So this is the final process. This is the final process before we uh, send it off to your restaurant or your home or just to you, whoever wants it. Essentially what happens is the bottle will go into the pasteurizer. We're going to heat it up to about 70 degrees of, uh, Fahrenheit. And it's just way cleaner of an option than to just take it out of the tank and put it into a bottle. Yes. So we're going to try some beer now? Yes, absolutely. Let's go for it. Awesome. Cool. Yes. Okay, so I'm about to try the flight. Yes, you are. And we have Porter Rum Rock. Pale ale yep. and summer ale. Absolutely. This one is darker. Yep. Why is this one darker than all the rest? That one's darker because it has a lot of roasted barley in it. And the roasted barley gives it that dark, malty color. Um, and it also has a lot of smoky malt and chocolate malt in there. Okay. So you can taste the smoky malt in there. Well, that's our, that's our classic porter for you, our smoked porter for you. And it actually mixes very well when you consider all the different flavors being coffee and chocolate and smokiness in there. Um, and it's just a favorite from all of us. We all love it. I love it. Yeah. I love it, love it. It's <laughs> Me really too. really nice. Mm -hmm. Now we have the round rock. Yeah. This round rock here. What's so special about round rock? What's special about it is that's the first beer we ever made. Oh, nice. Yeah, that is our number one first beer that we've ever brewed. And it is a combination of various hops from the US, hops from England, and malt from all around the world. There's about six different types of malts, and there's about four different types of hops in there. And it all blends down to make the one flavor that you can only get here wow. at Dread Hop. So. There's a very fruity aroma to it. There is. You have flavors of clove. You are going to have tastes of banana and, and even pineapple and mango. It just goes all over the place. It, it all depends on your palate, mm -hmm. because a lot of people have different ideas of what it tastes yeah, like, but right. everyone can agree that it is probably the, if not the best beer that we do here. Oh, lovely. Yeah. And now pale ale, why pale ale? Pale ale is classic uh, in the fact that it is a standard ale beer. Mm -hmm. um, it is usually uh, very few hops, very few malts, um, and it's just a simple, I want to grab a quick pint of beer, and it's something that's always classic and has a very memorable flavor and taste to it. Yeah. It. And then now we have this summer ale, just as clear. Is it clearer than the 
Okay, Lil. It's a little bit clearer. It's a little bit lighter malt. Mm -hmm. So essentially, the malt color uh, determines the color of the beer, essentially. Okay. So, um, oh. yeah, so if you have a really light malt, which is basically malt that has been roasted at a very low temperature as opposed to a very high temperature, it roasts slower and it has a lighter color, and that's exactly what the summer ale is. There's a lighter, easier drinking beer, something that a Beijing can, you know, reminisce. This is something that I've had from Banks, or this is something I've had from Deputy, or whatever the case may be. It's something that they can relate to. Yeah, understood. Yeah. What's your favorite? My favorite is, without a doubt, the Round Rock. It is our number one from day one, and will always be the number one, in my opinion. But that is subjective to my thinking. I actually like the Round Rock. <laughs> it's Very nice, cute. huh? Did you like it as well? Big fan of it. Love it, love it. And you guys also do food as well. We do tons of food, yeah. We have a whole variety of different foods. I'm not sure if you guys can see up here. Yeah. But all of it, our kitchen staff is lovely. They're so accommodating to everyone. And um, everything that comes out of here, I can vouch is amazing. I love it all. OK, Matt, thank you so much. No problem. Thank you, guys. All about Dry Hop Brewing and allowing us to try your amazing beer. Guys, when you're in Barbados or if you're a local, come down to dry hop during and try my favorite, the round rock. Yeah. Thanks for watching BT Travel. Until next time, bye-bye.